Hi Ardella, so it, it occurs to me that you may want to only buffer two features from a, a number of different features. So let's say we just want to buffer that feature and that feature and then exclude this one. So we're only buffering two out of these three features. Then make sure that you select your, your layer in the in the layers panel. Use your selection tool and then you can you can select and then hold down your shift key and select any number of features that you want to buffer. So we're just going to exclude that one. We don't want to buffer that one. And then choose the, the uh, process or the algorithm that you want to use for the buffering. So we're going to use variable distance again. And we're going to make sure that you select features only. So, so if we select this option, then it will only select or buffer the selected features. And the buffer distance is going to be the distance field. And we're going to dissolve the buffers. And I'll create a temporary file just for this demonstration and click Run. Now you'll see that the features buffered are the ones that were selected only. Okay, now another option is to make sure that you deselect, or what you do is you, you use the, uh, what is it called now? I'll just have a quick look at the, the name slips my mind. If I go to properties, the query builder, that's it. So if you go to source, so you open up the layer you want to buffer. So it's the structures again, and then you select source, and you use your query builder. Now what you can do is you can say, okay, I only want to buffer features that have certain criteria. So uh, shall we buffer features above a certain distance? So let's maybe do that. So we'll say distance, and then just see what these values are. So everything greater than 300, let's say. So everything greater than 300, okay. Apply, okay. And then there's only two. Uh, okay, so what it's done is it's D, uh, well, it's not rendering this one anymore because it doesn't fit the criteria. These are the buffers that have a buffer of greater than, than 300. This one was 350, and that's 500. So now what we can do, in this instance, I'll just use the example for fixed distance buffer. So we'll say, let's make it 250, dissolve features, and run. And close that. And now you can see that it's only buffered the features that were rendering. Okay, And we did that via Properties, Source, Query Builder, and then we set the criteria out to exclude or include uh, features that um, fit the criteria that we, we chose. And in this example, we just chose distance greater than 300 meters. Okay, so that's, that's two ways you can select out and buffer only two features or any number of features that fit criteria for your buffering. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, anyway, good luck with that. Give me a shout if you have any questions. Cheers.